truth is that picnic table is got me a little worried about it. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the project first before my wife get home. So, but before she get home, let me grab this green pepper because the dinner tonight is gonna be shrimp creole with tostones and so, and then she gonna be happy. So let me do the project first. Hello, my follower. This is your friend Pirulo with another project from Hacienda La Antigua. And this project, as you can see, I'm gonna redo on this uh, picnic table. You can see the, how is the condition of this table. I mean, it's very deteriorated. And then my wife said to me, Pirulo, I want you to go to Home Depot or Lowe and buy a new picnic table. Well, guess what? It's a something that I can do. This table, it costs you average like $150, to two hundred dollars so but it's a project that I can do it she said to me before she go to work today Pirulo I don't want to see this table when I get back home so but I'm gonna let you know that it's a project that I'm gonna do before she get home so this little project is gonna cost average like around fifty dollars if you have a your own sanding so but in this project I'm gonna show you something that you can do yourself so in the next round, I'm gonna show you the, the material you're gonna use plus the tools you're gonna to use for this project. Okay, we are ready at Home Depot to choose the paint or the stain that I'm gonna use for this project. This is the brand that I like to use it because this brand is durable, um, it's good for the sun, it goes for the rain, so it maintains nice and shine the, the bench and uh, it's common different uh, color like redwood as you can see it comes in picking color but the one i like to use is the natural cedar because uh, it's nice and shine i like the color it's very natural so now i'm going to show you uh, where to get the brush um, this paint is cost like 35.98 so to keep in the low budget you only need for that project basically one gallon of stain. So now I'm going to show you the brush that I'm going to use for this project. So here we go. Here is the section of the brush. Um, you can use a sponge. You can use a roller. But I like to use brush. Why? Because the brush penetrates more and the wood. So this is a, a very good um, thing to do. Now. Um, this brush it costs like around five dollars, so you pay thirty six for the stain plus five dollars for the brush. You stay under fifty dollar budget. So um, let's go, and I see you back in the project. Okay, now back to the house. I got the sanding machine that I'm gonna use for uh, this project. I got the brush, and also I got the stain. I like to use this thing because this thing is the price is very reasonable and also the color I like the color and it's good for the rain it's good for the sun so if you want to maintain the any table outside you you you're good to use it one of this now um, this is it and let's start the project okay don't forget to wear your mask because that's gonna protect the two from the dust of the table
as you can see after i did the sanding the whole bench the whole picnic table you see how beautiful it came out now the next step it's going to be the stain you know i usually say that i use the brush because the brushes penetrate more to the to the wood so the next step is going to be the stain Just the final touch of a picnic table. I did this project with a very, very low budget. It's something that you can do. It's something that is easy to do. Uh, so I want you to go down, like, please subscribe because that motivate me to do this type of video that you guys learning home. So I uh, see you on the next video. So my director, let me please these people with the virazo. Thank you. Bye. Recuerden mi gente, que la suscripción es gratis, suscríbase. Suscríbase, ahí que viene. Vamos con todo. Vamos con todo, este canal está con todo. Vamos con todo. Dile a Princess que ponga un huevo. Que ponga un huevo. Que ponga un huevo. Dile a Princess que ponga un huevo. Se son rancheros. Ponerle un poco.